So it's 2 in the morning and I just finished season 2 of Home for Christmas. <laughs> My mom Lincoln near tears. This show is so good. If you don't remember from last Vlogmas or if you're new here, Home for Christmas is on Netflix. It's a Norwegian show about a 30 year old woman who is basically trying to find a boyfriend before Christmas. That's the first season. And it's just, I can't. First of all, I highly, highly, highly recommend not like watching the dubbed English version. Like, listen to it in its original language and read the subtitles if you're able. I cannot recommend this show enough for just like a lovely, exactly what you want holiday Christmassy show because the little like Norwegian town that she's in it's so snowy she's like traveling on this like snow sled thing all the time it's like oh the outfits the warm cozy feelings it's just perfection the aesthetic the atmosphere it's so good and then the characters are also good and the story is also good and i just uh season one ended on a big cliffhanger whereas season two really did wrap things up pretty nicely which makes me think there might not be a season three which makes me really sad because i love this show so much and i want a new season every christmas like it just if you need to get in the holiday spirit if you need to get in the christmas Christmas mood. I know this video is going up on like the 24th of December so I'm a little late but each season is only six episodes and they're like 30 minutes so it's very easy to watch but I just love it so much. I think I might start Dash and Lily's Book of Dares now because I did want to get to that this holiday season as well but uh, I can't say enough about Home for Christmas. Go watch it. I don't know what the temperature is today but it is beautiful. We are on our way to the post office. Miss Bindi, how are you doing? Good. You know yesterday's vlog was so bad but today's is already so much better. We went to Miss Post Office and now we have a fairy loot unboxing. So this is their December box I'm assuming. I think this is the first month of my getting fairy loot that I don't know what the book is. Ta -da. Oh the first thing I see is Christmas related. That's already fun. Actually the first thing in this box is this artwork. But oh my god a santa hat are you kidding me i don't know what this is for like what fandom this is i guess we'll find out when we read the card at the end but also i thought this is a santa hat it's definitely not a santa hat it's just a winter hat i'm so dumb i honestly don't wear hats because my ears keep themselves plenty warm and i'm not getting this on over my bun hair clip thing oh my god next thing i where's like the okay here's the like card i was like um what is this even called it's the thickest thieves box the next thing i see is this and it feels like also i love like this little pouch oh <laughs> is this like so it's like a little sword and it's like actually pointy. I don't know if it could like do damage. I mean, I suppose if you know how to use it. I thought maybe it would be like a pen shaped dagger or something, but no, it's just a little dagger. Interesting. This box already feels so chaotic to me. Like a hat, a little like, what is, I don't know what's happening. The mood feels weird for some reason. Like I opened this box and the energy that came out of it was just chaotic. Okay, next I see is this notepad it has this lady on it i don't know if that's from a fandom that might be from children of blood and bone maybe like i think that's kind of how they look on the cover i think that's the sort of outfits that they're in all right then we got tarot cards we have king of swords and queen of swords don't know what fandom this is we'll find out at the end what who heck is this secret book volume I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Please don't make fun of me. So why is my back hurting? Ugh. I sat down for like two seconds and my back is like, <sighs> oh, when it says secret book, it means like, <laughs> I thought it meant like something else, but it means like, 
like secret. This is cool. I don't actually have one of these. So, and there's like stuff on the inside. Don't really know what that is. And it's cool looking. So, ooh, then there's a calendar in here and it's actually just like a calendar. Like not one of those like you have to move it every day, but it's just like you can hang this up. Is it a different fandom for like every, no, it's all Percy Jackson. Wait, no. Does that look like Percy Jackson to you? I've never read Percy Jackson. Who's this girl? Hello. Hello? Okay. Nice. I'm waiting for someone like that I instantly recognize. Haven't necessarily been the case. That's that. It's cute. I'll probably hang it up, I don't know, somewhere. I just bought that freaking Target one, so. Is there supposed to be something on this? Oh, this was supposed to be on this, on this and this is a letter opener. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I think that's it besides the book. Which again, I don't know what this is. Obviously, it's something. I, I literally don't even have guesses. Master of One, Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. I've never heard of this book. Have you guys heard of this book? Six Fey Relics, One Daring Thief, The Score of a Lifetime. How much you want to bet people read this and was like, oh. Six of crows. Welcome to the Queen City, a terrible place to live, an excellent place to die. Let me see like what this is about. Life in the Queen City isn't easy, especially for a two-bit thief like Rags. So he's taken by a sorcerer who forces him to get these objects. Oh, and the objects are people. Interesting. There's no way they can let the sorcerer enact his dark plans, but six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy. Oh, this absolutely was like six of crows. It's not me comparing it. It's how everyone compares anything with a band of misfits and thieves to six of crows. All right, well, this could be, I honestly, something that's turning me off. <laughs> from this book before I even know anything more is that the main character's name is Rags like something about that I'm just not into I have literally never heard of this So I'm gonna have to like do more research and see if other people have talked about it. It's very cool It has red sprayed edges good old Signature Ew, and there's oh wait, maybe I'm interested. This is the art. Maybe I'm interested <laughs> like hmm Tell me more. All right, like I said, let me know if y'all have heard of this book and especially if you've read it like is it good? All right, so let me read. Nope, that's not it. Spoiler card for anything that I wasn't sure of. So the beanie is inspired by The Hobbit. Okay. The secret book apparently has multiple things. The Hobbit quote, a Gilded Wolves quote, Last Magician quote, Darker Shade of Magic quote, Eyes of Lakamora in Days of Blood and Starlight quote. This is apparently supposed to be from Throne of Glass. The calendar has Throne of Glass, A Darker Shade of Magic, The Gilded Wolves, Scythe, Percy Jackson, and Dance of Thieves. So I definitely know a few of those, even though I was like, who dat? The notepad is Children of Blood and Bone. I was right. Oh, the art print is the Raven Boys. I kind of thought it gave me those vibes, but I thought it would be about the book, okay, that's cute. Apparently these bitches are from House of Earth and Blood once again. And yeah, that's it. All right, it was an okay box. I mean, I've never heard of the book, so like, that's a question mark. Letter opener is pretty cool, I'll give it that. Calendar is a good idea. The other items I'm a little so-so on, but you know. Next month's box is Greek mythology. So I'm like pretty sure I know what the book is and I'm very excited. Okay, that was December Fairy Loot. I hope you gained something from watching that. <laughs>
saw this movie when it came out in theaters, but it's just still making me so. Oh, this is a real cute look to end the vlog with. So that was day 23 of Vlogmas. I think I pretty much vlogged my whole day, so yeah. I didn't read anything today. Just went to the post office, unboxed that for y'all. Worked until like 6 p.m. Played Uno while listening to music for too long. And then I rewatched Last Christmas, because I was like, you know what? I wanted to watch it this holiday season. What a fantastic idea. And it was nice to get some journaling in too, since I'll probably have more to do tomorrow, since it'll be Christmas Eve. I don't think I'll do it tomorrow, but like more things to be journaled about. Anyway, if you were around last Vlogmas, you might know that Christmas Christmas Eve is sort of the pizzazz of the Christmas holiday for my family because we open gifts on Christmas Eve and have cookies. I think we're gonna be making some cookies tomorrow. We better be because we haven't made them, so if we don't, we won't have cookies. And then Christmas Day is just like the Christmas fancy dinner-ish thing. But last two days of Vlogmas are ahead of us, my friends. I'll try to make them <laughs> the best I can, but no promises. Day 23. trying to open it from the wrong side. Classic. Okay, that's gotta be a fucking house, right? Cute. Nice. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully not looking like this.